Now let us start the next chapter, area and the perimeter. So then what is the area of the closed figure? The amount of region occupied by a simple closed figure gives the idea of its area. And the perimeter means the total length of the simple closed figure along the boundary is called its perimeter. Now you are already familiar with the area and perimeter of rectangle and the square in your earlier classes. Now let, let us recall so the formulas to find the area and perimeter of the rectangle and the square once again. So first let us take the rectangle. In a rectangle the opposite sides are of equal length and the length of the rectangle is denoted by L and breadth is denoted by B. So then the area of rectangle equals to the product of its length and breadth so that is L into B square units and the perimeter of rectangle P equals to two lengths plus two breadths in the rectangle so that if you take two common two of length plus breadth two of length plus breadth units now the square in a square the all the four sides are of equal length and there are four right angles in both rectangle and square now the side of the square is denoted by a then area of square a equals to side into side so this equals to a square square units and the perimeter of square perimeter of square p equals to there are four sides so four into a so that equals to four a units so these are the formulas to find the area and perimeter of the rectangle as well as square. Now let us do few problems based on the perimeter and area of rectangle as well as square. Now let us see the first question. The measurements of some squares are given in the table below however they are incomplete Find the missing information. Now in the following table, the measurements of some squares are given. So some information is missing. So we have to find the missing information. Site, area, and perimeter. The area of the first square is 225 centimeters square. Then we have to find the site and also the perimeter. And the perimeter of the second square is 88 centimeters 
then you have to find its side and also area now let us check the first square square 1 its area is given so area of square equals to 225 centimeter square area square formula is a square equals to 225 centimeter square then transposing square to the RHS it becomes square root of 225 then a equals to 15 centimeters a means side of the square so side of square a equals to 15 centimeters then we can find its perimeter so side is given side is 15 centimeters then if you find the perimeter of square p equals to 4a then p equals to 4 into side 15 so this equals to 15 for the 60 centimeters so perimeter of the square is 60 centimeters then this second square square 2 so in this perimeter of the square is given so using the formula to find the perimeter of the square we have to find its side first then we can find its area so first let us find the side of the square using the perimeter so perimeter of square equals to 88 centimeters so perimeter of square formula is 4a equals to 88 then a equals to 88 by 4 4 1 are 4 2 are 4 2 are a equals to 22 centimeters a means side of the square a equals to 22 centimeters then you can find its area area square a equals to side square then a equals to side is 22 into 22 so then area of the square 484 centimeters square so here side is 22 centimeters and the area 484 centimeters square now let us solve the next question the measurements of some rectangles are given the measurements of some rectangles are given in the table below however they are incomplete find the missing information So this is the length and 
but area and perimeter the length of the first rectangle is 15 centimeters and breadth is 10 centimeters 